Hey guys, Haphazard214 here. Tonight we're going to be modding Escape the Backrooms. We're going to make it to where you take your four player lobby to a 16 player lobby. So let's go ahead and get this started. First thing we're going to want to do is go to Nexus Mods, right? Go to Nexus Mods. Once you get to Nexus Mods, you're going to go ahead and change this over to Games. We're going to go to Escape the. Once you do that, go ahead and hit Enter. Click on Escape the Backrooms. Once you get that up, you're going to see 16 player max lobby. That's the one that we're clicking on. Now, you do have to have an account in order to download this. So, we're going to click on manual. Uh, once you click on that, go with the slow download. Takes five seconds. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead. We're going to click on this. Just get that folder open, right? Next thing off the link that I have included in the description here, it's going to take you to a. Uh, GitHub repository to download the other necessary file, the UE4SS. Uh, so you're going to go ahead and click on that. It should automatically download for you. And as you see, it's there in the downloads. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to open up Steam. We're going to click on Escape the Backrooms. Correction, right click on that. Then we're going to go to Manage, Browse Local Files. Once you get those local files open, we're going to go click Escape the Backrooms. Content, packs. All right, here, this is one of the most important steps and you cannot have any differences in how you name this folder that we're about to create. So go ahead, create a folder and you're gonna do capital L, lowercase O, G, I, C, capital M, lowercase O, D, S, logic mods. So go ahead, open that up. Now, reopen that downloads. Once you get that open, open up your 16 player uh, zip file and drag, drop, boom, that part's done. Now on to the next part. You're gonna go back here to escape the backrooms, double click on that, go to binaries, go to Win64, and in here, this is where you're gonna open up that other zip file, the UE4SS, and you're gonna copy and paste it over. Now, once that's done, you've done everything that you need to do in order to play Escape the Backrooms with up to 16 players. Uh, hey, thank you for watching. I hope that you found this video helpful. If there's anything I can do to make it better, please let me know. Thanks. Until we meet again. Until we meet again.